This is a game rated AO for adults only by the ESRB. And by that I mean this game is rated AO using the ESRB rating system by the creator of this game because it's a fan game. Either way, viewer discretion is advised. This game kind of needs it. Aloha! This is the Green Lighting Mr. T, and welcome to the extra bonus episode for Conquer's Hyrule Tale. Last time, of course, we beat Ganon and got found the final ring, or, well, I found all the remaining stuff that I wanted to find. And now I'm here to kind of go over the stuff I missed slash Easter egg is because th this game is nice enough to come along with a little guide that tells you a bit of uh, some of the Easter eggs and stuff that are in the game, as well as just, you know, everything that's in the game. Turns out there was one thing I did miss that was like, it, like a normal collectible, but it's not. All that, a big deal that I missed it, and on top of that, like, eh. The way I pl played through the game, it would just lead to me never, ever uncovering this. Unless I literally repeated everything over again. Because it just, I wouldn't try it again. Because it's something I already did without doing something else first. Let's put it that way. So, let's see. Huh, remembers everything, huh? Look at that. Alright, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to Chuck's. We're gonna remember and if we're real quick which one I have to go to. I don't think it really matters, but I think the one in the clouds will work just fine. So, the first part of this episode is just gonna be going over this... Well... One thing I missed, and then the Easter eggs. Then I'll be going through the different endings. And I'm really, I'm only, the only thing I really need to re-show for the different endings is the fact that I'm going to be, God, I'm not used to this, um, with being my hookshot, is that, um, wait, that actually did get, produce a fairy doing that? Wait, what? That normally will happen. Um, what was I saying? I got really distracted by that. Oh, is it the fact that, um, like, I'm only just gonna need to show the first instance where I can, like, beat Ganon, because after that, the fights simply just become easier. Why, why do I need to show the repeat fights so with easier fights? It's only gonna matter the, um, first ending. Okay, so, basically, the thing is, if you throw in the, the dust, um, before you've gotten the pure dust, he doesn't respond to it at all. He doesn't even mention, like, come back when you have, you know, cooler dust or something. And at the end of the day, it's just a normal text for the... It's a generic test for... Get, getting an upgrade. It'll give us some much better dust. <laughs> which gives us uh, three times the magic mirror, which, you know, I I question because in the original game, there's a one-fourth magic that isn't implemented because, you know, they, they just decided, well, you, you don't really need one-fourth magic. That's just a bit too much. Of an advantage. So I don't know whether this is actually like using the one fourth thing or is it actually is just triple the magic. It might actually be triple the magic because of the way it empties the bar. I don't know. Anyways, I didn't need it. Just getting the double magic was good enough for me. Okay, the other thing. Well, <laughs> that was the only thing that I missed that wasn't an Easter egg basically. It's Easter egg time. Where am I? I need to... Right, I have this very nice magic card, which takes me anywhere in the world. Or worlds? P peril? Universe? W whatever. Where am I going? Desert? No. Number two. Yeah. Okay. So, big thing I want to do. This, this, the fish. 
this silly fish that I was wanting forever. What the heck do you do with this fish? Why does it exist? Well, I now know. <laughs> it's basically hilarious because, like, all the little Easter eggs that I'm showing off are, like, all in this condensed in the same spot. Not all of them, but most of them. Okay. So we're going to the... What is it? Goron Strip Club or something? <laughs> Whatever this place is. And apparently, if you give the fish to this lady person, Trixie, this NPC actually has a name of Trixie. Where did you catch that fish? It stinks like Goron piss. Well, it still smells better than my pussy help pie. What? <laughs> wow, okay. That was a, a bit crude, but sure. The other crude thing you can do is look inside. It's right here. The hell with bleeping Dave, this tinted wood will give me glimpses of what's going on inside. <laughs> They forgot to tint a tiny little hole here, just enough for my one eye. Let's see. Oh my goodness. I see something pink in the middle of something that looks like a mountain. And look at that! It starts whipping up and down! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Now I see a... W2F, is that scaly skin? Big yellow teeth? A fat ball-like shape? chokes. Oh no. That's a bleeping Goron? Scales? I have no idea what's been referenced there, but anyways. That's a fun you can do there. And this. This is a, this is a funny trick. If you have Trixie on screen and use this, she will give you, you basically get a discount. Because it costs 300 uh, monies to uh, use the life belt. Did I not do it right? Ah, okay, it, it, they attack her and then she drops it. So you get 200 of your monies back for doing that. Is it just the golden bee attacking that causes that to happen, or is it actually specifically the... Yeah, you have to use the life belt for it to work. Okay, well, there's one other thing to show off. I, I don't need that gold bee. I'm, I'm done with this file. This... I think it was Twitch, gold, gold bee's Twitch. Nope, not that one. Wait, it's probably Euclid's, Euclid's, here, DOS, this. I assume it's this one. Yeah, this is the Parable Tower reference. Okay, so, one of the screens for the map of the level, it's MMXV1. What is M? I think M is 100, so 200 and 16. Or so, so, 260 or is, it, is M2000? C is 100. M is 1000. So yeah, 2016. So that's probably when uh, the date for uh, Peril, Peril Worlds. Thank you for playing Peril Worlds 2.0, Euclid. It's, it's just a secret hidden message here. Yeah. Lol. Because <laughs> I had no health. This is the other thing. That I, uh, didn't really know about. Um, the item, a lot, it's frankly a lot of the signs or even just the items really do tell you what they do when you first pick them up. It's just the case with this one is that you get it so early on and you don't remember what it does by the, or what it said it did by the time you actually get to the location you can use it. Um, in the Peril Tower Ruins or in this room, for example, with... It reveals hidden floors using the harp. That's the only reason why you would want to get the original harp, because that is just 
an optional optional item in this game. And like that X Wing shows up immediately the second you uh defeat the first Ganon the first time and wind up at the, you know, Peach's castle. So that's your only time to get it in the game. And Boy, it'd be nice if I somehow could have remembered that, but I really doubt I would, in any scenario, that I would remember that finer detail. But there's also, like, one of the early on signs that tells you, like, in the first room of the... God, what is that thing called? <laughs> I, I forgot. The tortoise. There we go. Um, it tells you that the rings are what actually gives you more time. And that eventually you get an item that'll make it so you don't need to worry about time. So, all that is good and dandy. So, that's really all that is to show for bonus stuff. Now we are on to the other endings. So, I am going to quickly... I've done up to um, level 9, which is the... Parallel Tower Ruins, because I wanted to show off the little harp thing and what rooms you could use it in. But after that, we'll be going to fight Ganon, because I have not picked up the Piece of Eden, which gets you the second ending, and we're going to go try and get that first ending and see what happens. And of course, I'm going to be showing off the fight, because it'll be the hardest version of the Ganon fight. Like, I, I kind of... I was like, how soon can you actually fight Ganon anyways? You could probably do it earlier. No, yeah. you need a sword that'll be able to damage Ganon, which I think I'm going to have to do swing attacks just to be able to deal damage because the bat doesn't do enough damage to do any damage to Ganon. You'd have to do like a minimum amount in order to do anything. So I will see you guys in the Peril Tower Ruins just messing around with what rooms have the hidden floors in them. And then it's uh, Ganon time. Oh, and uh, by the way, that's that you have meth dust. I forgot to actually show the upgrade on the screen. Yep, you get meth dust. Ah, this should be a prime example. Wow, that is so much easier when you know where the floor is. Not the mint, although normally during I just like skip the show by jumping across the entirety of the floor. Yeah, I definitely did that. Yeah, I just did that the entire time. It does make that room a lot easier. Is it working here? It's right next to the feathery doofus. Yeah, that makes life easy. Okay, this is another room that, yeah, that has invisible floors. There we go. I guess the fact that I even figured this out without the harp should be commended. That was a ridiculous room. Okay. So, I have, well, everything you get from up through the first nine dungeons? Yeah, nine levels. I haven't really done any exploring in the uh, tortoise, which is level 10 for the extra, or is it level 11? No, it's level 10. Where is it? No, no, no. Level 10 is the, the parallel tower ruins. Yeah, so I've done everything up to level 10. So no extra rings, everything's... I don't have the Apple of Eden either, because that's relevant somehow, at least story-wise. So for now, 
We are going here to face off with Gien. And worst case scenario, he tosses me in the pit and I go and get, grab the ring while I'm here. Otherwise, uh, may the best game player win. Does that, mean, does that mean I'm only saying I am allowed to win? What is this? Thousand years. Yeah, this is all the same, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's all the same. Alright, nothing special about the dialogue. So I'm just going to quickly use this to get into a second phase. And I can recover my magic for a bit, and then I can go back to being invisible and hitting him as much as possible later. Plus, I guess this is doing less damage than it would normally. So I guess it's going to take more hits. I hadn't really considered that aspect. Oh, come on. God, it's hitting so hard. I'm taking so much damage. I'm, and I just, I just. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, this is hard. He's being annoying because I. <laughs> he will go into the second phase so fast when I have an actual strong lightsaber. Oh, and I've died already. <laughs> I hope I, I hope I actually do this. I'm not gonna need to get myself drunk, am I? Off on here. Oh wait, wait, wait! He's doing the thing. He's doing the thing. Okay, we're good. Okay. It is kind of relevant that I don't have to... As a reminder, I'm holding X in order to make him visible. It is kind of relevant that I don't fall in the pit. Combo Breaker! Mother Bleeper, you let... Okay, yes, 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 yes. Oh, gee, I couldn't move. That wasn't fair. Okay, so I just gotta get enough hints in that I can strike him. Guys, you're so fast! And now I'm kind of in trouble. I'm out of magic. Yeah, I've got one more fairy in the big. No! <laughs> oh, on the bright side, yeah. I guess I can easily get more attempts if I just don't mind waiting for an eternity to um, get my magic back. Right? Yeah. Oh, how well, does this suck? Well, I'll see you in pit for attempt number two. You know what I just realized? I don't have the TARDIS key. So I can't just warp back to the beginning. Oh. 
Maybe I shouldn't get the TARDIS key. Yeah, I'm gonna go get the TARDIS key instead. So that when I actually fall on the hole, I can just restart the fight instead of having to walk all the way back. Yeah, that would be smart. Okay, I am back here. I went ahead and did the tortoise part of the tortoise that had the tortoise key in it after doing all the other parts. And I wound up getting an extra uh, um, DNA synchronization piece augmentation bar. Uh, I've, I've forgotten. Oh, <laughs> again. But this means that I can just restart the fight whenever I fall down and seven having to walk, I don't know, ten minutes around, having to go through both the Lost Desert and the Lost Wood in order to get here. Big mess. Okay. So let's do this. I got my ring, I got my mushroom. Kind of more important that I have the mushroom set up. Here we go. Proper attempts. Attempts, attempts. Words are hard. So I'm gonna be a little bit more conservative with my ring this time and only use it when I'm going in for the attacks. Of course. Ah, the second I'm ready to attack, it runs out on the freaking torches. Okay. Perfect. Wedge myself in the corner and just go to town. Set this one out. I don't like that spot. You're too far away from the wall. I'll make getting consecutive hits harder. Kind of just needed that just to get out of there. Right. That's definitely a good spot. Except <laughs> gotcha. Don't accidentally use that in the middle of this fight. Okay, I'm out of magic. Oh, yes! Yes, yes! It's perfect time to run out of magic when you... Uh... Out of the hard knowing part. Yeah, I can't see you even if... I use a... Maybe if I just light one torch. Yeah, okay. Now I can have kind of just take my time and get my magic back up. It's it's kind of sucky to have to wait this long, but I think this is my best bet for beating him. I guess we're all just partly. Oh, dang it! Partially faded. Oh, 
Okay. This is it. This is it. Just don't fall off the platform. Don't die either. Right, you start doing that. I don't like that attack. It's too fast. Don't knock me off. Thank you for not knocking me off. Maybe this was overkill, actually. Wow. Yeah, I didn't even die once. We didn't have to use a fairy that time. That was really good. By the way, I've uh, been doing my best not to actually have any proper deaths in this playthrough, and I actually managed to avoid it completely. The closest being which was that weird boss thing. I think I had one health and then one fairy left. Having the extra magic definitely helped, but still, it, it was really rough. Conquer, ignore the doctor's false spree, and having collected the apple of Eden, as he was about to enter the secret realm, he was intercepted by a Dalek and was beamed up into the hangar bay of their mothership. Conquer was taken to the prison cell on the mothership where he saw the doctor, and his companions were captured as well. The look in the doctor's eyes tells Conquer that all hope was lost. The fleet of derelict ships made their way through the rift to launch a surprise attack on humanity. It was the end of humanity as we knew it. Or was it? Thousands of years later, as the world lay in ruins, another hero <laughs> of time. Please, with like little Triforce on it. What the heck? Universes. Okay, that was an interesting ending, I guess. Who are the derelicts? Der, der, terror Lex. <laughs> Is that something from like uh, Doctor Who? <laughs> I definitely did not follow any of that. Okay. Well. Eh, I don't know. I. Is there... Does it show the rating and time and stuff like that? Stuff like that? Probably. I guess I wouldn't mind seeing that, but... Otherwise, like... Eh, we've seen the credits. We're skipping them. Yes, here we are. Yeah, this is my, uh, 4 hours and 18 minutes when I knew I, I knew everything I was doing. That's pretty good, I guess. Uh, the rest of it's not gonna matter much. I just was interested for the, you know, first ending. And how, like, quickly I was able to actually get through the game when you know what you're doing. Okay, oh yeah, that's right. I have to reset it manually. So, be back to for second ending. Yeah, so I'd say I've gotten pretty good at this Ganon fight. Again, didn't have to use any fairies. Okay. I've got the Apple of Eden this time. Let's see how this fares differently. On that faithful day, Conquer's early arrival in the sacred realm triggered the apple of Eden he had collected. He started glimmering and displaying glyphs of various origins. And then, a hieroglyphic image of various people was projected in front of him. A female voice explained to Conquer that he was reliving the memories of the people who had possessed the apple of Eden before him. She warned him of the great consequences of wielding such an artifact. She was named Judith, 
and was a member of the first civilization. She also revealed to him that the ancient goddesses weren't deities, but instead the first civilization of humans that was born on the planet Earth. She told him that in order to save his civilization from extinction, he would have to sacrifice his life using the app. The female voice then manifested before Conquer and asked him about his decision to sacrifice himself for the good of civilization. For the greater good, Conquer chose to sacrifice himself. All of this has happened before and all of this will happen again, but it was because of his sacrifice that day that this legend was passed down generations among civilization. So say we all. <laughs> I was about to say like, wait, why does Conquer have human DNA in him? I was like, no, wait, no, she's, she literally said she's reliving other people's lives that have touched the, the Apple of Eden, not if you're reliving your own memories. Yeah, yeah, that'd be just weird. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to quickly go on to the next one. This one I have to um, just not have all 20 rings of power, right? Yeah. I got to go and uh, actually beat normal Ganon first. Oh, awkward. <laughs> uh, okay. Alright, so the Underverse is open. I also went and got the tunic anyways, so whatever. in the sacred realm without finishing his quest. He rushes to the last boss fight unprepared. I don't need to find everything. All I need to do is get the fuck out of here. Go home. Have a bottle of beer. Yeah. He looks in his inventory and takes out all the rings of power he has and attempts to close the ring. He had successfully closed the rift between the space-time continuum by himself, but without the doctor's help, there were dire consequences. Conker grew more reliant to use the rings of power over time, and went on a quest to find all of them. The more rings he found, the more he was addicted to the power. Conker eventually loses control. <laughs> Lord of the Rings! That's a freaking ring ring that are not cool. beginning of a new story. Since the hordes of the Dark Lord Sauron... <laughs> oh my god, this game's beautiful. Oh, I love how twisted and like... Just, you know, she winds how like literally different universes like end up as part of the endings it's so good okay oh in that case uh, we have one more ending although I've got a I've got a strong feeling that this ending is just gonna be what the ending I got was minus you know the little bit at the end where I uh, conquer becomes mad with power because of red lightsabers <laughs> So I'll see you there. Yes, I actually beat it without needing to use drugs. <laughs> yeah, having the level 3 armor, or the hero's tunic, whatever you want to call it, is definitely an advantage for that boss. But yeah, I went through all my fairies. Yep.
Okay. Oh, the last. Kalka arrives in the sacred realm with the complete Triforce and all the rings of power. With the might of the One Ring, Kalka commands the programmers to return Barry to him. What should we do now, Seth? Sure, you can mask the Barry Man for me, please. Uh, by me? You can follow me, please. Oh, okay, okay. And with their mighty powers, the programmers kick Kalka from the highest pyramid ever built to his doom. While falling, Kalka wished that he had restored the TARDIS to its Okay, so basically it's the same thing, at least for now. I suppose there might be stuff after instead of the dirt. Side of the Force stuff. The, the Doctor also tells Conker that he can travel anywhere in time and space. Conker chooses to travel two moments before Barry was killed, saving her in the process. He then went back, sitting on his throne, with his resurrected wife along with him. Conker chose to align himself with the light side of the Force and to protect the parallel universes at all costs. Be advised that however tempting it can be, the dark side of the Force isn't a path anyone should undertake. May the Force be with Conker. Okay, so slightly different. To be honest, I'm not even really 100% sure what the Dark Lightsaber does. I guess it does... Yeah, it lets you, like, one-cycle parts of the fight. Yeah, it does actually do something now that I think about it. But it's, like, it's so late in the game, like... Like, is it useful? <laughs> it's, it's, it's the amount that it actually, like, gives you benefit for it. It's just, like, barely even worthwhile. Okay, but that is officially everything that this game has to offer. Oh my god, I played through it all twice, and it was awesome. I had just as much fun playing through the game a second time as I did the first, and I got my little uh, no-death run going. Not sure why, like, the zero appears over, like, the... you know, on the file screen, but it's, like, for the first file, I definitely died a lot. I don't know why that isn't working right, but that's that's this game. It is officially done. I am looking forward to what's next? Super Mario 64 Last Impact. I believe that is next. I will be starting it like basically tomorrow. Hope you enjoy. Hope you enjoyed this game. But this is by far like one of the best hacks. Hacks ever graded. Let me know if there are more like this. And to I say, aloha.